Hello, amazing learners. Welcome back to the channel where we make English learning fun and easy. Have you ever been over the moon with joy? Or maybe you've heard someone promise the moon and stars. The moon has fascinated humans for centuries, and it's no wonder that it's found its way into our English language in such creative and colorful ways. In this lesson, we'll explore amazing idioms related to the moon, each with its unique meaning to help you shine in your English conversations. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit the bell icon so you never miss out on our exciting English lessons like this one. Let's get started. Here's the first one, under the moon. This idiom means everything possible or everything you can imagine. It's like saying there are no limits to what you are talking about. It's a way to express that you are being very thorough and not missing anything. Here are some examples. He knows every trick under the moon to fix cars. This means he knows all the possible ways to repair cars. I've tried every solution under the moon to solve this problem. This means I have tried all the possible ways to fix this problem or issue. Now it's your turn to write a sentence with under the moon. It will help you make a permanent memory of these wonderful idioms, and I would like to read your sentences. Let's move on to the next one. New moon. Can a moon become new? Well, no. This phrase means a fresh start or a new beginning. When you say new moon, you are talking about starting something new or beginning a fresh chapter in life, just like the moon starts a new phase. I hope you got it. Take a look at these examples. The new job felt like a new moon in her life. This means starting her new job felt like a fresh start for her career. They saw the move to a new city as a new moon opportunity. Here it means moving to a new city was a chance for a fresh start for them. With that, we move on to the next one, many moons. This idiom means a long time ago. Moons here refer to months. So many moons means many months or a long period. In short, you are talking about something that happened a very long time ago. Here are some examples. She was a famous singer many moons ago. Many moons ago, there were no smartphones. I am sure that was straightforward to understand. Here comes the next one, fly me to the moon. I feel with the advancement in space technology, in some years from now, we will be practically able to fly to the moon. What do you think? Now, this idiom means taking someone to a place of happiness, love, or joy. So, when you say, fly me to the moon, you are expressing a desire to be taken to a very happy or magical place. It's often used in a romantic context. Here are some examples. The surprise party was a fly me to the moon moment for her. This means the surprise party made her extremely happy. She said, fly me to the moon when he proposed in the most beautiful way. This means that she felt very happy and loved when he proposed romantically. I hope you got it. Here comes the next one, moon of my life. This idiom means that someone in your life is extremely important and cherished. It's a way to say that you have a deep and emotional connection with them. In short, you are saying that they are very special and mean a lot to you, much like how the moon is important in the night sky. Take a look at these examples. You are the moon of my life and I can't imagine being without you. 
This means you are extremely important to me and I can't think of living without you. Calling her the moon of my life made her realize how much he cared. Right, it means someone special to you. Let's move on to the next one. Reach for the moon. It simply means to aim for something that is very difficult to achieve. It is like setting high goals and striving for great achievements, even if they seem impossible. In short, it means to aim high and try to achieve something very, very challenging. Shall we look at some examples? Here's the first one. She believes in reaching for the moon with her projects. This means she sets very high standards and goals for her projects. He decided to reach for the moon and apply to the top Ivy League universities. This means he aimed high by applying to the best universities in the world. Moving forward, I have promise the moon. This idiom means to make unrealistic promises that are difficult to fulfill. It's like making big promises that are difficult or impossible to keep. One should always avoid promising the moon and not commit to something that is impossible to achieve. Take a look at these examples. Politicians often promise the moon during elections. How many of you agree with this? Politicians often make very big promises during elections that they may not be able to keep. She promised the moon to her clients, but failed to deliver. I hope you got it. Now, let's move on to the last idiom from today's lesson. Cry for the moon. To cry for the moon means to want something that you cannot have or something that is very hard to get. In short, it means to wish for something that is impossible or very difficult to achieve. It is like desiring something that is unrealistic or unachievable. Let's look at some examples. Don't cry for the moon. Be realistic with your goals. Crying for the moon won't solve your problems. This means wishing for impossible things won't help you fix your issues. Well, you shouldn't cry for the moon when it comes to learning English. It takes time, but with regular practice, you can certainly become fluent in English. I hope you enjoyed learning about these expressions and feel more confident using them in your conversations. If you found this lesson helpful, please give it a thumbs up and share it with your friends. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel and hit the bell icon so you never miss a new lesson. Until next time, keep reaching for the moon and make your English shine bright. Bye for now.